This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Eric Morton of WDWNT.com, filling in for Tom Corliss, who is in Paris to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Disneyland Paris. And here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for April 13th, 2022. Uh, speaking of Disneyland Paris, we recently released two interviews with Imagineers who were instrumental in bringing us the Disneyland Paris we know and love. We have some really interesting interviews with former Imagineers Eddie Sato and Jim Scholl. These are in-depth interviews, but definitely worth checking, uh, checking out. Uh, they're right here on our channel. Carve out a few minutes and, uh, well, may maybe more than a few minutes. They are in-depth, but carve out some time and check these interviews out. International guests have resorted to begging for tickets and park pass reservations outside the Magic Kingdom after being turned away. One couple who wishes to remain anonymous reported, reported having traveled to Orlando from Switzerland. Upon arrival at the Transportation Ticket Center, they attempted to purchase three theme park tickets and were turned away. They crafted a sign reading, looking for tickets and reservations on a sheet of cardboard. And initially, they stood outside the Magic Kingdom entrance, hoping to beseech other guests to assist them. However, Disney security cast members uh, forced them to retreat to the parking lot outside TTC. Since the Walt Disney World theme parks reopened in summer of 2020, guests have been required to obtain a ticket and a separate park pass reservation through an online system. Uh, regularly ticketed guests Resort hotel guests and annual pass holders all have separate reservation availability. Uh, the reservation must be tied to an admission ticket or guests aren't allowed to enter the park. Despite the capacity for Disney World being increased, executives, including CEO Bob Chapek and Parks Chairman Josh DeMauro, have stated that the unpopular reservation system is here to stay. Uh, Chapek cited the system as, quote, the backbone of operations. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is expected to extend the requirement for passengers to use face masks while on public transportation. According to the Associated Press, the rule will reportedly be extended for two weeks through May 3rd. Uh, previously, the requirement was set to expire on April 18th. The reason for the extension is to have time to monitor for any possible increases in severe virus outcomes as cases once again rise in certain parts of the United States. Nationwide confirmed cases of COVID-19 have increased in the last few weeks, rising from 25,000 uh, per day to over 30,000 per day. According to the AP, the CDC had hoped to uh, move to a more flexible mask requirement before the uh, Transportation Security Agency uh, decided to extend uh, for airplanes, buses, trains, and in public transportation hubs last month. A new decorative plate is now available as part of the 50th anniversary vault collection at Walt Disney World. The plate is flower-like with a bronze center circle and wavy green outer edge. The center circle features Cinderella Castle and the retro Walt Disney World logo. The bottom of the plate is also bronze colored. We found this at Main Street Cinema in the Magic Kingdom for $29.99. April 11th's performance of Harmonious took an unexpected turn as something on the edge of the lagoon appeared to have caught fire. That's right, it caught fire. Twitter user at uh, Nakai underscore Barnor shared a video of the fire. The cause of the fire is unclear, but the show involves uh, the use of various pyrotechnic effects such as fireworks, and in the short video, you can see something catch fire and begin to burn stronger just beyond the barrier uh, near the World Showcase Lagoon. Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind opens next month at Epcot, and now we can see the new cast member costumes. Uh, Imagineer Zach Ridley wrote on Instagram, today we're able to reveal to our Epcot cast previews of the new costumes, uh, that our Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind cast members will be wearing as they invite us to experience the wonders of Xandar. Like all our experiences, our cast have a role in our story. In this experience, our cast will be emissaries of Xandar as members of the Nova Corps, helping guests along their adventure through the attraction. The costumes pull from style, color, and iconography we have only gotten glimpses of within the Nova Corps and the world of Xandar. Now you get to step into this world for the very first time. This is yet another milestone in our journey that is leading to May 27th, as we are thrilled to be opening this attraction for our guests soon. 
The cast members working in the costumes are meant to be members of the Nova Corps, an in, uh, intergalactic military and police force. The costumes are bright blue in color with various orange accents. Disney Vacation Club members can register for previews of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot beginning April 14th. Registration opens at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Cast member previews for the new attraction begin this Sunday, April 17th. D23 Gold members were given a chance to purchase tickets to a preview event that will be uh, taking place on May 15th, though tickets sold out in less than 10 minutes. Annual pass holder preview information has yet to be announced. As the weather warms up, salt and straw is expected to be ready to make Disney Springs even cooler next week. Uh, we have learned that the new ice cream spot should open to guests on Wednesday, April 20th. As we pass by on our most recent visit, we can see that the final touches are being put on the building on the shopping, dining, and entertainment uh, complex's west side. Blocks are in place for signage, but since it hasn't been installed yet, uh, we can just get a glimpse of this neat waffle cone-like pattern on the building. It's currently unclear if this is going to be a soft opening or an official opening, but either way, we can't wait to try the cold, creamy sweets at this new eatery. The adorable Rolling With My Peeps donut has returned to Everglazed Donuts and Cold Brew at Disney Springs. It's a glazed donut with vanilla frosting and it's topped with pastel candy decorations, green buttercream, Easter grass, uh, malted milk ball Easter eggs, and a peep bunny. The donut costs $6.50. Uh, read our full review over on our site. If you've got serious thrill issues, dude, this is the shirt for you. Show off your Disney's Art of Animation Resort pride in this new Dip Dye Spirit Jersey featuring Crush from Finding Nemo. This spirit jersey is dark blue, fading into white at the bottom. Crush appears on the chest in lime green. The back of the shirt has Disney's Art of Animation Resort across the shoulders. The colorful resort logo pops against the blue background. The sleeves are also dip dyed dark blue and, and go to white. We found it at the Ink and Paint Shop for $74.99. We reported last month that Disney's Art of Animation Resort would be uh, seeing some closures of the Cozy Cone Pool and the Righteous Reef Playground. The Righteous Reef Playground remains under construction, but the pool has reopened. The Cars Pool has first come, first served Cozy Cone Shade Cabanas. The pool is staffed with lifeguards. If you have a Cars fan in your life, make sure to bring, bring them to see Cars section at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Thanks to uh, Dan, and that's Dan LB underscore 2000 of the WDW Magic Forums, we now have a look at the layout for the new DVC building coming to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. The permits reveal a layout of the new area, including a parking lot, pool, and water activity pool. The plans do not include an additional monorail station for the resort. The new wing is expected to be opening in 2024. Rock and Roller Coaster in Walt Disney Studios Park at Disneyland Paris is being rethemed to fit in with the Avengers Campus theme, and we now know that it will be called Avengers Assemble Flight Force. Outside Ears reported that the coaster will mostly be themed to Iron Man with a light-up facade run by his digital assistant, Friday. The ride vehicles resemble Iron Man's red suit. Other Marvel characters, such as Captain Marvel, will appear in the attraction as well. During the 30 Years at Disneyland Paris panel, Imagineer Bjorn Heerwagen confirmed that the Iron Man coaster will also have a next-gen audio animatronic. It's going to be Iron Man, and he's going to be located in the queue. The figure will be all electric and will feature 43 different functions. Avengers Campus at Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris is set to open this summer, but the resort has not yet set a specific date. Also during the panel, Disneyland Paris revealed a new logo for the Disneyland Hotel. The golden logo features a crown that is also the shape of the hotel's towers. Below that are five stars indicating their efforts to keep this a five-star hotel. And then it says Disneyland Hotel below. The second edition of Poster Art of the Disney Parks is currently available for pre-order and the cover has now been revealed. This edition is purple and features a castle silhouette made out of strips of Disney Parks posters featuring Dumbo, Miguel from Coco, Elsa from Frozen, The Haunted Mansion, Mad Tea Party, and Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. 
poster art of the Disney parks is uh, by Danny Hanke and Vanessa Hunt. The first edition was released 10 years ago. A Costco exclusive version re was released in 2016 and a coloring book version was released in 2018. This second edition will be released on October 11th, 2022 and is set to be available for $44.90. Gilbert Gottfried, the voice of Iago in Aladdin, as well as the actor behind several iconic non-Disney roles, has passed away at the age of 67. Gottfried's family shared the news of his passing on Twitter, writing, We are heartbroken to announce the passing of our beloved Gilbert Gottfried after a long illness. In addition to being the most iconic voice in comedy, Gilbert was a wonderful husband, brother, friend, and father to his two young children. Although today is a sad day for all of us, please keep laughing as loud as possible in Gilbert's honor. In addition to voicing Iago in Disney's first Aladdin film in 1992, he continued to reprise the role in subsequent material over the past 30 years, including the Aladdin series and Kingdom Hearts. He also had guest roles and provided additional voices to several other Disney series, including Hercules, Timon and Pumbaa, Bear in a Big Blue House, and Hannah Montana. The Broadway production of Aladdin took time to remember Gottfried at the curtain call of April 12th's performance, according to Deadline. Uh, Don Daryl Rivera, who plays Iago on Broadway, led the salute to Gottfried. Uh, Rivera said in his tribute, I, along with five other actors worldwide, have the distinct privilege to bring Iago to life on stage. And I think one of the main reasons this character is who he is is because of what Gilbert brought to the animated film, his comedy and that voice. That voice that the New York Times once said sounded like a busted Cuisinart. He also related a story of asking Godfrey to sign his VHS copy of Aladdin. You can watch the full tribute in the video linked on our site. Our condolences are with the family, friends, and fans of the late actor. For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to www.nt.com. Follow us on your favorite social media platforms as well. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical Disney trip. The best part is that their services are free. Visit www.nt.travel for details. If you're enjoying the show, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to WW News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with WW News Today. You can also support the entire team behind this show by joining the WWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WWNT. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks News, this is Eric Morton saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Oh, hello there. Can't get no privacy at all around this place. But I'll tell you what you can get. These fantastic t-shirts from the Carousel of Products. I don't open wear a t-shirt, but if I did, this would be the one. Uncle Orville, there's a terrible racket coming from here in the bathroom. John, what's happening? I, we're talking about t-shirts. T-shirts, what's that? Why, it's the 12 Flags Over Epcot shirt from CarouselOfProducts.com. Another good one. Yes, go shop now. Just $20 at CarouselOfProducts.com. All of our t-shirts. What's a dot com? I'll tell you around the next turn. <laughs>